Hello, chat. <sighs> another day, another uh, drawing stream. I've kind of already gotten started. Um, but, uh, yeah. For this stream, I'm going to be drawing pretty much nothing but some of my male characters, interestingly enough. They're just all lined up. There's like three male characters all lined up. So we're gonna be drawing three of my boys. How am I doing? Same way that I'm always doing. Truly. Who's the first boy I'm drawing? Uh, I'm drawing some- well, all three of them, just, I guess, for context, were from that old, like, visual novel idea that I had in mind. Uh, Project Encasement. Uh, this guy was a craftsman, and he still will be a craftsman, but, uh, gonna be a little bit- oh, we're gonna change him up a little bit. Tat. Um... Cause while I like his- I, I, I kinda- I'm okay with his design, I kinda wanna do more with it. Cause see, I think he- I think this guy was, um... Well, I say I think, as if I don't already know. But I distinctly remember, this guy was supposed to be, like, the mastermind of Project Encasement. Kinda. He creates puppets, but he doesn't just create puppets, he creates a multitude of stuff. So. Yeah, he was supposed to be the mastermind of, of Project Encasement. So I'm keeping a little bit of that. I'm actually I'm, I'm keeping that very much intact, frankly. He is very... Like, the idea of this character was he was very uh, gaslight gatekeep. I'm sorry, gatekeep girl boss, there is no third one. You're crazy.
being, I mean, I guess being the mastermind of the project in case we need to probably take here. I don't even know if any of you guys remember Project Encasement. It's been such a long time since I've talked about it. Some of you might remember, like, bits and bobs, but, like, I don't know how many of you guys would actually, like, fully remember. I'm not happy with this hand. Give me a sec. <laughs> Hey, Cameron.
I'll just keep the hand symbol, I guess. Because for some reason, everything else is tripping me up. This doesn't look good from, like, that angle. Can I see someone who wore an earthworm costume? No, but I saw the, um... Uh, hold on, give me a sec. Let me go back into my DMs of Donnie. Uh, I saw the... Um... Horseshoe crap. I saw the horseshoe crap kit. That one was adorable. I like that. Hey, Dragonite. I sent that one to Donnie, and I, I, cause I thought Donnie would like the horseshoe crap one as well. She likes scraps. I think I might have sent it to Blaze as well. But I knew I definitely sent it to Donnie. I send really just any cool animal video, like, immediately to Donnie. Just because it's a very Donnie core thing to. I want to see. Birds I also send to Yoon. Crabs I also send to Blaze. Cats I also send to Lumi. Some quality content in my pals. I think they would like it. That's really what being friends with me just winds up being. Is I'll just send you memes if I if I think you'd like them. Or not even memes, but just videos in general if I think you'd like them. That's like the majority of my interactions with my friends at this uh, at this point. Also send them literal beans. I haven't done that in a bit. I used to do that with Chaos, but... Chaos and I uh, don't appear to be friends anymore, so... Meh. It still pisses me off, but like... Not anything I can do about it, I guess. Hello, Emma. It's like how I used to send, uh, Junkie that one gift of the running banana. I don't really talk to Junkie much anymore, but I think I still have him on 
my Steam list, my Steam friends list. I've mentioned before that I have like a really hard time cutting people off and you have to really like fuck up with me in order to get me to want to do that. So I think I still have Junkie on Steam. What were we talking about? I mean, we were talking about, um... We were talking about how I don't tend to remove people off of friends lists. But... Unless they really fuck up with me. That's always the thing that like fucks me up the most is when I real when I come to realize that these people didn't actually want me to be fr like be friends with them. Cause then I'm just wondering like what's the point? Like it's not like I can get you clout. It's not like I can be particularly very useful to you. So what's the point? What? Why? Why keep someone like me around? You know. What kind of useful idiot am I? Am I to you? No, if you really, really piss me off, that's when I tend to, like, remove people, but it's very, very infrequent that I do. Typically, I'm the one that gets removed. But yeah, it really fucks me up when, when I realize that these people didn't want to be my friends to begin with. Isn't that right, Rachel? Isn't that right, V? That right gray. I oftentimes just felt used by or feel used by the people that fucking throw me to the side. Does that include pal- oh, fucking... Crimson. I was downright hurt by Crimson. Ugh. Crimson? Let me put it this way, there are very few people that I, like, physically yell about or physically would yell at. Crimson is now one of those people. I was so fucking hurt by what he had done. It was n like... Like, I was damn near fucking crying at that point. I was so pissed off. 
Like, any time he had... Any time he had, like, a, a problem or, like, any intrusive thoughts and shit, I was always the, the person that would, like, you know, get him in a, get him off to the side and be like, hey, yo, I prefer you around, actually. I like having you around. I consider you a friend. And that's... That's the response I get, I guess. Apparently, if I don't like people that Crimson likes, then we can't be friends, and he'll throw us under the bus. It's like, I got trust issues because of these people, man. Like, I don't even know if the friends that I currently have, like, see me as a friend or not. And I'm never gonna know. Like, they can tell me all they want, but fucking Rachel told me that she considered me a very close friend. V considered me a close friend. Fucking Charlie considered me a close friend. So I don't know. I don't know if people like Avi actually see me as a friend. Avi, Yoon, Nezi. I don't know. I can keep t I can keep pretending that they are and until, you know, until they no longer want anything to do with me. Oftentimes, I just feel like I'm lying to myself. Then I start isolating. Which, that's probably not healthy for me, but... It's not fair that I let off on you guys. I'll just leave it at that. Oh, hey, Aaron. All in all phone on a Wednesday morning? <laughs> uh, typically. How goes it? It's going alright. I'm doing my market research. The game's changed, to doodle. What? All YouTube thumbnails are become rounded. <laughs> Oh yeah. That's that's been the case for a bit now. Yeah, I just got the update. I <laughs> just mm. So I'm just looking around to see how it changes like just like the overall UI and seeing how like other creators like uh thumbnails have adjusted to see how to design my own. Cause, uh, I probably am due to touch up my thumbnails, actually. I mean, mine haven't been changed. Mine are not going to be changed, frankly. Because I have designed mine in a way where it doesn't really need changing. Fair enough. Mine do. 
My borders are now wonky. <laughs> I'm just redesigning my characters currently because that's what needs redesigning. Characters I don't <laughs> even use. Hey, <laughs> it's part. I find it fulfilling. <laughs> Oh, where are my matters? I probably should reach out. Mm. Uh... Oh, the only go. thing that's the only thing that's been asked of us was Big Mac asked a question, uh, asking us if we would to someone who only occasionally flushed the toilet. And for oh, no, that's that's a big peppy. No. <laughs> for me, that's just living with my family. I am a man of order. If you do not live by the rules, you're out. <laughs> Character and Chainsaw Man that does that, her name is Power. Alright. I don't know anything about Chainsaw Man, but alright. <laughs> All I know about Chainsaw Man is that there's a little doggo. With like a chainsaw sticking out of its head. And I think it's kind of cute actually. But like, that's all I know. Is this character a voodoo specialist, or do they just like puppets? They're just a craftsman. They, they'll, they'll make puppets, they'll make, um... It's like, they'll make puppets, they'll make, uh, jewelry, they'll... They'll make little clothing items and such. They're just a craftsman. Though I particularly don't think, er, though I don't think I particularly trust this salesman. Or not salesman, uh, this, this craftsman, because, um, uh, he was a part of a little visual novel idea that I had a couple years back called Project Encasement. Um, Project Encasement was gonna be kind of like, a, a who done it kind of deal. So think like Danganronpa or, like, Ace Attorney. This is a very mystery style game. Um, at least that was the idea. And this guy is going to be, like, kind of the mastermind behind it all. So I wouldn't trust this guy. However, he is just a craftsman. <laughs> Feels like somebody who wants to sell me something. He is, he is very... He is very gatekeep girl boss. There is no third one. You're just crazy. It 
hands up. <clears throat> like, he's not special otherwise. He's just... He's just kind of fucking... He's just kind of a shit. He's just kind of a shit is such a funny statement. I mean, it's, it's an accurate one, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any problems telling you guys that this guy was supposed to be, like, the main villain. But, like, also... It, it, because it's... I mean, because Project Encasement's never gonna fucking happen at this point. <laughs> I've kind of given up on that. And it kind of lost the motivation to want to continue it, so... Truck. I'll probably find something else to do with like half the characters that I fucking did for encasement. So hey, Avi. Yo, it's raining. Oh. Yeah. I take no responsibility. <laughs> Shut up. Why would you do this? How could you? How could you make it rain? Well, actually, we need to make it rain because there's no way we're in a drought, but. I take no responsibility. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I saw this great bit yesterday where it's Axel. Like, you know, we all use magic, you know, so what makes you more of a witch than me or like Saul? Well, the you can't just say the hat. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Why not? Susie. <laughs> you can't just say the hat. Why the fuck not? It sounds like Quitter Talk. What it's not Quitter Talk. It's what does what distinguish well, technically speaking, what differentiates them from like warlocks or something like that? <laughs> It's really a matter of self-identification at that point. Yeah. God, I, um... Also, I don't... I, I accidentally did the fucking lock Oz. You, you, you ever seen the image? Well, actually, no, Aaron. You don't look at memes as much, but... I'm just gonna put this image in the no mic. And this was my Halloween costume that I put together completely by accident. Aside from the hat, the hat was intentional. You know what, uh, that tracks for you. <laughs> I just, because I, I have just like a yellow uh, sweater with black sleeves and the jeans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I just went to CVS with Bruce and the dude there was like, yo, that was a, that's a great law costume. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> 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 Can we get much higher? Uh, to answer your question, uh, you're not ready for me to hit the Yonky Splunky. I'm not. <laughs> Can we get much higher? Man.
And Dr. Crafty also finally did the good thing. What? Like, finally. And of course, it was while I was not on Twitter. What? And you fucking added me, like, hey, look, your early Christmas present. And I'm like, first of all, not Jewish. Second of all, my yeah, birthday's in December. Yeah, he was blasted for that. <laughs> it's great. Uh... But he's. But, but however. Tall, tall girl with with witch aesthetic. You okay, buddy? <laughs> yeah, man. I'm I'm great. I'm doing just fine. Fantastic, Ethan. I also have a new great reaction image. Is what I would have said if the fucking <laughs> one day I'm gonna kill Discord on mobile. I'm gonna actually blow it up. Based. <laughs> Today's episode of I Hate Mobile Design. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Well, no, because here's the thing. I have to, I have to save an image, and then I have to post it immediately. Or else, I have to go into my camera, find the image, and then edit it, but not actually edit it. I just need to open the editing portion of the camera app in order for the image to actually be downloaded enough for Discord to want to send it. Crazy. If I try to, without doing that, I will select the image on Discord, I will press send, and it will vanish. Only the image master of all Discord memes could stop him, but when the world needed him most, he vanished. He vanished. <laughs> yeah, no. The good silence virgin. Man. Like. God, fuck. I hate it. Oh, God. I love how chat is speculating what's under my hat. Hair. Under Aaron's hat? Yeah. Yeah. Hair. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Not much. It's just hair. <laughs> I don't think such a revelation is worth trying to... Try... <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, Emma maybe suggests that I'm hiding a copy of Mario Kart Double Tag. God. Mordog suggests that it's an entire happy meal. A Mario Kart character? Hell yeah. <laughs> I do not, in fact, have bunny ears. <laughs> that is not something I was expecting to say today, but hey. <laughs> You're not usually here on my chat, so... No, in general. It's true. Like, I... My chats especially get pretty... Pretty interesting. Because it's like, if we're not being sad, we are... Shitposting. Wow, mm -hmm. chat really does reflect the VTuber, huh? <laughs> Basically.
It's nothing under my hat. It's just my hair. That's it. <laughs> What do you mean? What do you, what do you what do you mean hair in quotation marks? <coughs> you know, hair. <laughs> it's a tiny hat. Under his hat is a tiny hat. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh god damn it. That's, I'm, a, I'm that's really always a good man. bit. That's always a good bit. It's just under the hat is another hat, or under the mask is just another mask. I remember when it was such a big deal during, like, the Naruto anime's American run, like, what was under Kakashi's mask, it's like... <laughs> it's such a good bit. Just another mask. One of those random fun facts about me that people just occasionally need reminding of. I used to be a Naruto fan. You know what? That sort of tracks. <laughs> I also love asking people what they think my favorite Naruto character is because they never get it right. What? It, what I don't know any. I, well. Okay, that's a lie. I know a little bit about Naruto. I know the funny trio. That's about it. <laughs> I posted like a favorite character thing not too long ago, so people people know now. But like, I used to love having people try to guess because they never got it right. Yeah, it's Gara. It's like no, like prior to prior to me revealing it on on like my my favorite character fractal, like no one would have guessed it. The Sandman. The Sandman. <laughs> Mr. Sandman. Boom 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 boom. Give me some sand. Boom 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought he had some. I thought he always had like a really, really cool power. Sand bit. He's literally his power is literally just throwing pocket sand at you. Except it's not pocket sand. It's a whole fucking like gourd on his back, and it's a lot more gourd than just sand. merely. And then it's, and it's a lot more than just merely pocket. Well, you. Well, what is the gourd? It's if not just a gigantic portable pocket. <laughs> I just like the sentence, his power is pocket sand. <laughs> okay, I need to remember which of these two characters did what. Okay. Because the other two characters... Um, were two different iterations of... Project Encasement, and I just kept them both around for some reason. So this is gonna be my time to kind of make them more different to each other. <laughs> This is just the this is just the me redesigning some of my my boys stream. And I'm not even talking like the femme boys, like I'm just talking like the actual male characters. <laughs> hmm. 
You've probably done a stream where you redesigned them, though. Uh, I've, re I've already redesigned, or given globs to some of my fanboys. <laughs> um, there was one in... I know there was definitely one in the Gat 40 set. Specifically the Max, uh, the Maxia characters. Because Sophia's in that list. And the other one... Uh, actually, was there one in Leia? No, there was not one in Leia. Um, so the other one had to have been in the Lorem, because Christian is in there. Christian's another one of my fanboys. Next one's gonna be probably Blair in Old Glory. I see. Kara has been in pocket sand. I mean, he probably does. <laughs> Got a quarter that he pulls out the pocket sand. Pocket salt? That's way less versatile. <laughs> Why? It's just salt? What is salt other than edible sand? What? <laughs> what is salt other than edible sand? A lot of things, actually. Can't use sand as currency. I know salt was used as a barter, was used in the bartering system. What are you, what are you gonna. What are you gonna... Think about it. Salt, and the way that we know, like, table salt, is just really, really crushed up bits of, of rock salt. Uh, salt is basically a rock. You get enough, like, an, if you get, uh, um, if you get, like, bits of rock small enough, what is that other than just sand? Because sand is basically just really, really small bits of sandstone. Okay, now that you explained it like that, all right, I see where you're coming from. However, comma, you can't just open up with salt is edible sand and you expect everybody to be all the same pain. <laughs> I'm just saying it's edible sand. I'm just saying you need to like elaborate before you start throwing out statements like that. <laughs> salt can melt, so can sand. What do you think glass is made of? I'm just saying, Dragonite. My logic makes perfect sense. This time. But will sand stop a snail? I don't think so. Are you in? What are, what are you like preparing for the invincible snail? What are you, what are you, what? <laughs> I don't know. You can't eat sand though. That's why I said it's edible sand. Also, you absolutely could eat sand. It's not good for you, but you can. <laughs> Who says you can't eat sand? You absolutely can. Nutritionists. See, that's just quitter talk. <laughs> oh, 
not saying you should eat sand. I'm just saying you can. The possibility of eating sand does exist. I'm not saying you should. I'm not saying it's a good idea. I'm just saying you can. <laughs> It's too early in the morning for this. <laughs> Susie, get some sand and eat it. I'm not going to. Because I don't think it would taste very good. Just because I can doesn't mean I should. Make a sand potion, coward. <laughs> the... The, you guys are misunderstanding my point. My point isn't that we should eat sand, or that sand tastes good, or that sand is nutritional. It's not. I'm saying we f we physically can eat sand if we wanted to. Welcome to the Doodle Street era. Yeah, is this one that goes on in here? <laughs> As I said, if we're not sad, we're shit posting. Oh dear. Honestly, this should be what you expect from from a stream from me. Frankly. Heavens. Am I wrong? Is no, that not just, just me? No, I just got a DM. Oh. Uh... I'm gonna put it in no mic. <laughs> God. Wait, what's in- what's in Avi's eye? Ask- it's like, ask Emmo. <laughs> Burger? Oh, okay. <laughs> Understood. I guess an ocean of sand is under Aaron's head. Am I gonna have to do like a under the hat reveal? Is that what is that what chat wants? <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess. I'll make a note of that for future reference. Yeah, just you make that like part of your your VTuber thing. Fucking so get enough followers and you get a you get a hat reveal or under hat reveal. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Why his head is so tall, he needs to fit Las Vegas under there. <laughs> Heavens. What project did I recently cancel? Did I cancel a project recently?
Did I can't. Did I cancel? Did I say I canceled the project recently? Isn't it the, uh, the, uh, what is it? What did you call it now? Your visual novel based off of Danganronpa? Oh, is that, what they that was... To? Maybe, but that was a... I cancelled that a while ago. I think you mentioned that on the stream. Yeah, I haven't... it is that. Okay. Well... Uh, that's that's just where the characters that I'm drawing come from. There was a project I was gonna do called Project Encasement, and it was like a visual novel, like who done it kind of deal, in like a similar vein to like Ace Attorney and Dog and Rampa, and you know, games similar to that. Uh, I learned how I learned how to use Renpy too, so like I I had pretty much all the build up to it, um, and I may eventually just cancelled it because I didn't, I didn't have the motivation to keep working on it. Um, that's just where the characters that, I, that I'm drawing come from, like the characters I'm drawing today. All three of them come from Project Encasement. But yeah, I didn't cancel that just, like, recently. That's... That's something I canceled, like, a year or two ago at this point. Under the Hat Review is Aaron's new series where he reviews stuff with his hat off. Specifically, sand. <laughs> Y'all <are> really... <laughs> you will not be satisfied until I take off my hat and then an entire desert comes out of it, huh? <laughs> Aaron, I want I, you to. I, Aaron, I want you to know this is the same chat that spent an entire Pokemon stream just making Pokemon sex jokes. Aaron, this is the same stream where Susie has a fifty k point review. Okay. The the fifty. Oh, hello. I was about to say, I don't know what, I don't know what the 50 point, 50k point redeem to bring up bimbo tones is, does. Like, I don't know, I don't know what your, like, what that has to do with anything. Uh, it... Well, exactly what it, what it has to do with, uh... It's, um... They will not that be mean... satisfied. Cause that meme started on, on Nezzy's stream. And it's just kind of like... True, like in... but people have redeemed it. People have oh, redeemed yeah, no. it. Oh, it, yeah, it's brought its way over here, but it was... It was originally started on Nezzy's stream. No, I brought up the Pokemon sex jokes because that was a str That was one of my streams. It was just an entire... It was an entire Pokemon Yellow stream. An entire two hours of just making sex jokes about Pokemon. I don't think I would be able to handle that. <laughs> <laughs> I barely did. <laughs> you know why I can't. Like, those jokes... Those jokes hit different. <laughs> there's only so much... There's only so many webcomics you can read. <laughs> Also, I'm I'm mostly here just because uh, I'm at my hotel taking a break. Sort of. And what? Say that again. I'm sorry. By the way, uh, in case you uh, 
people are wondering why I was in call despite what I said uh, about being elsewhere, uh, it's because I was in call. And, uh, I mean, I, I can enjoy the, the, uh, the view from the balcony, but, like, eh. Here, then, I'm only gonna be here for, like, a few minutes, so. Fair enough. Does Aaron know, uh, know about what we said about Duck Trio? I can take a guess. <laughs> I don't even remember what you guys said about Duck Trio. <laughs> I can take a guess. I I can too. I don't even remember. It's, I just I just remember that we did it. I don't remember all the specifics. Wow. Most likely. Most part. Uh. Uh-uh, Azul, I'm shooting that one down right now. I'm shooting that one down. This is it's like Aaron Tempest Digital Dissection Series is not a retelling of Ratatouille. It's not <laughs> But there is an alternate universe where it is. It's not and this one. It's not <laughs> it is not this one, but... Speaking of the Pokemon Yellow playthrough, you still need to watch that. Uh, I mean, all of the VODs are up there. It's probably gonna be really weird to go back and rewatch, because the Yellow playthrough had some people that we don't associate with anymore. Plus, um... You also have to keep in mind, there was just a long string of time where I just didn't play yellow. Although that's the case with like most of my Pokemon playthroughs. Pokemon yellow, I think I stopped playing for like a month or two. Maybe longer, I don't exactly remember how long I went without it. But uh, it was after I failed to catch Articuno. Um, no, that will do it. The Crystal one, uh, Pokemon Crystal, I stopped playing for just about a year because of Sherman. Emerald, I don't- I, Emerald, I think, went mostly without a hitch. And now we're on Platinum, and Platinum is kind of on hold for a bit until I can get my health sorted out. I mean, I can still play Emerald, or not, not Emerald, Platinum. I can still play Platinum every once in a while, but, like, that schedule down there is not being followed right now. I, my body is not able to keep a schedule right now. Well, your health comes first. Unless we're talking the, uh, unless we're talking about going to the actual fucking doctors themselves, in which case, then, um, then I just get ran around in circles for a bit. <laughs> Thanks, U.S. Healthcare.
to the people who get charged. <laughs> people who get less help but charge more, yeah. I'll, I'll eventually talk to a doctor about it if I... Because I'm going to be seeing my therapist again. Uh, sometime later this month, that's for sure. Um, and if I don't wind up asking her, like, what I could do, or, like, some, for some maybe advice or some help or something, um, I will definitely be seeing my, uh, my general care doctor, uh, the one that, that helps me with HRT. Uh, I'll be seeing her on, like, in February, so... Presuming I stay alive that long. Because some days it feels like I'm not even going to fucking survive, but... That's, uh... That's a topic we've already gone down a few times. Uh, apparently, Aaron, you are being told to look in your DMs again. I have seen and I refuse. I remember what was said about Doug Trio, and I don't know if Aaron will be <laughs> will handle the question. Again, he's not going to. He's not going to entertain you. <laughs> Imagine if Crafty was an actual doctor. He's not. Hmm. He stole his doc- Canonically, he stole his doctorate. Oh, well, I mean, if you have a doctorate, it still makes you a doctor. It's not his. He's he doesn't... still has one. He still has one. It's not his. That's, that's not, not saying... how... I'm not saying I, he has one that belongs to him. I'm saying he has one. Yeah, but that doesn't warrant calling him a... The only reason why I call him doctor is because everyone else does it. Ah, so you're, you, you succumb to peer pressure. I don't know how to tell you this, TP. But... What are memes if not peer pressure? What? <laughs> See, I mostly just call him Crafty. My whole world could be flipped upside down. Every, it's like, I, every, every so often, I will bring up the fact that he stole his doctorate. It's kind of like... It's like... It's kind of like the reason why Andrew Jackson is on the $20 bill. It's just a joke at this point. Oh, I don't think I've talked about that. <laughs> so, fun fact. Uh, Andrew Jackson um, really did not like banks. Like, he spent, I believe, his second term in office trying to dismantle them. Uh, he succeeded and caused the recession. So now, as kind of like, as a gigantic bit, the, the banks were like, hey, let's put him on the $20 bill. And immortalize him in the system that he hated. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. If I remember correctly. There may That's have been... Actually... That's kind of funny. Yeah. 
Like, things don't get very many W's, but I would say that is definitely one of them. <laughs> Rare bank W. Rare bank W, yeah. It's kind of a power move. It's like, oh yeah, this dude that wanted us to fucking dismantle? Yeah, no, fuck him. He's put on a 20 now. One of the most common forms of this. It's not the one. Aaron, they're still making guesses about what's under your hand. <laughs> Let them guess. Okay, I have a stupid question. Ask away. And I'm not asking what's under it, but will the hat ever be taken off in days without days like this? I can't answer that question. Like... Okay, fair enough. Now wouldn't that be a stream? Chat makes a, a commentary for me. <laughs> well, it'd have to be a good one, otherwise it, it, it's it's not canon. <laughs> Imagine that's the video that so that like the video that ends up like getting on people's see secrets. It's not even yours. Which theory of yours do you like? One or two? <laughs> what's theory two one is and very what's funny. Two? Theory two is the Ratatouille one. Theory one is the the Mario Kart one. Theory two is funnier though. <laughs> Hello, internet, and welcome to CC Theory. God, remember when Lorenzo did commentary theory? Oh yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah. Let's make Aaron's next video titled the CC Rent. No. Yeah, no, it, it's it's just titled yeah, the 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 CC Rant. It's not actually a CC Rant. I know. <laughs> I refused. <laughs> Is that L Lorenzo? Did, Lorenzo did uh, a series of, of videos he called Commentary Theory, yeah. I was featured on at least one of those episodes as, like, the voiceover. I don't remember what yeah. I had to talk about, but... I remember uh, he had me on I'm it all once. I'm, I'm gonna take a wild step in the dark. It did not age well. I don't fucking remember. Like, I- he had me do the voiceover. Basically, was what it was, what it was. Like, I- it wasn't a theory about me. For the record, none of this is meant to be, like, a slight against him. I'm just, like... I- I'm not expecting something like that to be age particularly well if it was from <laughs> I feel bad because one of my favorite jokes of Lorenzo was a recent one that he did against Kai Weiss <laughs> it's fucked up but I thought it was really funny because the reaction that Kai had kind of just tied it together <laughs> can you say it on stream <laughs> I don't no! <laughs> I have no idea if I can or not. Like, I, I still don't fully understand the, like, the terms and stuff on this platform. <laughs> what was the joke? Okay, but if this gets me banned, we know exactly what to turn to. <laughs> 
Um, no, I have it as, as a screenshot. I need to find it first. But, uh... Oh, God, it's so funny. Oh, oh well, I guess it's on screen now. Uh, it's just fucking Lorenzo saying, Well, damn, I can't believe Chris Brown dropped another track after being absent for so long. And then Kai just responds with, Lorenzo, respectfully, please stop calling me that. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up, but, like... I thought it was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucked up, but it's so funny. I mean, yeah. Uh... Aaron's a coward because he won't make a commentary on, pe on the people I could beat up at Benny's parking lot list from, like, 2020. You don't want to bring me. that- You don't want to bring that back. I, I have absolutely no context to this one. Oh, I do. I know exactly- I know exactly what they're talking about. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There was a funny list of people. It's like there was a funny list that they uh, that they constructed a while back, like a list of people they could beat. And it's like that uh, they could beat. However, comma, uh, they're going to fail. <laughs> you do not have the frame data to to conquer me. <laughs> Why? Take Never, forget. No. Never forget when Lorenzo called Ray a Twitter user. I mean... I mean, yeah. yeah. It's correct. <laughs> no, you would not win. I'm, t I'm telling you straight up, you will not win. <laughs> That's why I'm not gonna bother with, uh, fighting Aaron. Would you guys consider Lorenzo to be chaotic? Yeah, and it's, and it's sometimes funny, but it's also a lot of times to his detriment. Um, because he doesn't really know when to read a room. And that's what leads us, uh, that's what leads a lot of us to not really want to hang out with them very often. Like, none of us necessarily see him as, like, a bad dude. I want to make that clear. Like, Lorenzo's not a, 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 like, he's not bad. But he really has a hard time reading a room, and so it's kind of weird to be around him sometimes. I don't have any problems with them, other than that, though. Because, <laughs> again, sometimes it can be really funny. He's not bad, he just has social issues. Yeah, and I don't really know how to, to handle that half the time. It's not mad at... Alright, so for the record, I gotta... Because, uh, the, the people on their list... Oh wait, hold on, let me go find it. I'll be right back. Okay. We need more people who have 99% of what they say are jokes, though. I mean, we have, uh, Sarah Dust for that now. Sarah, some Sarah's crazy, but surprisingly a lot more control. 
Yeah, no, he knows when to read a room. Mm -hmm. Which... You know, is a good thing. Oh, as you know, Kami. Dude, you wanna know what type of commentator I would like to see come back? The the mm -hmm. half boiled hero the half boiled hero kind. Um, you know, before he was a crypto bro that defended Stone Toss. Uh. Okay, but okay. Uh, so uh, democratic. What? Okay, so you need so we need the democratic first. Yeah. Also, yeah, Lady Objection would be nice to come back to. There is not a day that goes by that I don't regret not downloading Lady Objection's commentaries. What happened to Half Boiled Hero? Uh, he's a crypto, or er, he's a uh, crypto bro now that supports Stone Toss. <laughs> Half Boiled Hero making horse mask and that's gonna cheese. Man, that, that'd be a little no, the worst? funny, but on but sick but still unfortunate. The worst part is, is like, right now, that's kind of where he's at. Like, he totally fucking would if he had the ability to. Like, he's pro-NFTs, he's pro-crypto, uh, he follows, like, a lot of, like, crypto accounts and such. Um, but he also follows a lot of, like, pro-stone toss accounts, too. Um, apparently he still follows Medicare. Uh, he was on the side of people that was like, uh, that, that wanted to see, um, uh, what's her name, fail at, like, shutting down Kiwi Farms. Which... I wouldn't call him a Nazi! I wouldn't call him a Nazi. I would, however, say that he has definitely gone down, like, a bad path. You know what? You know, in retrospect, you probably should have expected... You probably should have oh, expected I, that. I expected some point. of it. I, I definitely expected some of it, because I distinctly remember that when the Medicare situation was going on, he freaked out and tried to delete his CC wiki page. Well, actually, I think that at that point it was the DB, but I don't think the CC wiki was a thing at that point. I'm just, uh, I'm relaxing in my hotel room. Sort of hotel room, it's like the balcony that's right next to me. What? I'm just saying hi to Avi. Oh. Yeah. I I heard none of those words. Anyway, who is the coward we're talking about? The coward? <laughs> well, you said, like, when the fucking thing happened, they immediately went to... Oh. Oh, half-boiled half, half half -boiled hero. Uh... Yeah. You really hate to see it. Also, you know what else I really hate to see? The fact that bisexuals aren't real. That's the last one. The last one. Dude, I'm gonna be honest. I think I've finally done it. What have you finally done? I've, I've finally fucking cracked the ponytail meta. I finally fucking figured that shit out. Dude, it's it's such a weird one. Like, oh, absolutely. It's so strange for me, personally. Fucking, it is... 
it took my hand like it took me so long to get my hand used to the motions of it all yeah no dude i like the thing about me is that like i always get crossed up when i yeah do a and then um like if I can, they end up crossing me up, and then uh, my hands get all fucked up, and then, wow, would you look at that? I've lost my entire life barb off of one interaction. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it happens. I literally got up this morning, got out of the shower, saw a Chainsaw Man tweet of, like, that dude just eating his breakfast, and then just doing up his ponytail, and I was like, fuck it, if an anime character could do it, I can too. My favorite bit is, it's like... They added a whole section of the episode to see to show us Aki being a male wife, and then it's like asterisk a normal human being. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, he was cooking food and he got dressed and did the laundry. What a male wife. God. There's a lot about our society. I mean, look, if, if you need a male wife, I'm here. I'm 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 sorry. <laughs> Speaking of male wives, um, <coughs> can we talk about how fucking stupid it is <coughs> that people unironically said, if I had to suffer in my generation, you have to suffer now because life isn't fair? Oh, uh, yeah, that's doubly, crazy. Uh, doubly so if that generation is the reason why the current generation is suffering. True. Yeah, it's like, oh, I, I love the thing where it's like, if you're upset about working eight hours a day, you'll never make it in the real world. Why? Literally, that's literally just fucking boomer copium. Yeah, it, it's like, my, my parents were like, God, we had to pay for all this shit. I'm like, well, life isn't fair. You had to pay for all that shit when your intolerant generation was doing intolerant shit. And now our more tolerant generation is trying to do tolerant shit. And you guys are like, eee, but I, but no, you don't, people who say that our generation had this, so you need to have it too, are, we want what you have, but we're not your age, so we can't, or we can't feel like it's okay if we do it. The big, yeah. oh yeah, I found the, I found the list, um, thank God. Yeah, I found the list demo, uh, yeah. <coughs> uh, we'll talk, I was like, we'll talk about your list later. Uh, today I'm talking about, uh, God, how the elder generation has screwed us over 10 ways to Sunday and are still mad. <laughs> like, they took almost all the wealth, concentrated it in ourselves, and now they're electing politicians that are like, oh yeah, you, you people? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, no, like, my, my parents are like, oh man, there are like spots on college campuses that are BIPOC only that's so like anti-white. And I'm like, okay, uh, you're fucking, like while watching Tucker Carlson at the table. And I'm like, the dude you're watching is like calling for trans people to be killed. No, no, no. your family is Jewish and they're watching Tucker Carlson. You want to know what, you want to know the exact reason? Is Why? He's from San Diego. What? what? I said, the they, they, they like my dad was watching it at the table, and I was like, "Can we please not do this right now, Dad?" And he's like, "Why?" And I'm like, "Because I don't want to fucking listen to Tucker Carlson yell about how upset he is that a, a cartoon character is wearing different shoes, or how hmm. like gay hypnosis, like shut the fuck up." It's like, "Yeah, but he's from California." I'm like, "Okay, what what <laughs> good point has he made ever? Like literally ever? Like a Dude, single good I... point made by Tucker Carlson?" I love the fact that he got angry that the fucking green m m changed her shoes. It's such a fucking self-report. It's such no, a it's fucking self-report. It's a self-report is Dude, what it was. I, uh, wait, I, that wasn't I, hyperbole? No, he, I went literally, he literally had a whole segment about it. That's hilarious. I, I had a whole bit where I was going downstairs and I'm like, man, so much for the fucking tolerant left, am I right? God, all these woke liberals out here filling our kids' heads with misinformation and trying to indoctrinate them, saying that the One Piece isn't real. God damn it, fucking I hate the left. Are we all, as as like true woke individuals of the right, know that the One Piece is real. <laughs> that's my political stance. You know what? That's fair. Can we get my fire? So uh, I need to find a box 
I need to find like a little crate that I can sit on and do the fuck because I have the the, the law outfit. Can oh, just... that's pretty great. Oh, is I, that the character's I, name? It, yeah, his name is Trafalgar Law, and um, he is voiced by Matt Mercer in the dub, and it's the only time I've ever heard Matt Mercer dub a character and been like, you know what? I think I'll take anyone else. Okay, dope. I was looking for that image. <laughs> yep. What the fuck? Oh. A man lost a waifu that day, yeah. No kidding. Can it's such a self It's It was such a self-report, though. I thought it was so funny. Yeah. yeah. Dude, this is really the fucking society that we've grown to live in. Oh, also, I just like to state for the moment, if he is running again this uh, term, or if, well, if he's alive to run again, um, or if he can run again, I, I don't know the how many times he's run. I'm voting for Joe Biden. Twice. That's my ninja way. You know what? Uh, a president can a president can serve two terms, and uh, and I hate it actually. Well, I mean, how many times can you run? You can run as many times as long as you haven't served two terms. Once you okay. serve two terms, that's it. Okay, gotcha. Well, gotcha. there's there's oh, also the you, there's also the stipulation you, that if you lose the primaries, you can't run again. What? Something like that, that's, wasn't there? That's in, that's not in the constitution. If that's a thing, that that's something that the political parties invented. God, I here's. I mean, thing. I, I. Is that is that truly anything new? It's like no, but like there's a difference between this is literally in the foundation of our government and this is the honor system. As we've found out the past six years. As we, you know, how about you honor these nuts? You wit. <laughs> You know what? <coughs> yeah, because here's the thing. I, the only people who are voting for Biden <coughs> are guilty your players. <coughs> I like, listen, listen. Biden's been cooking. I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, What's I, I think guilty I'm... Dear Aaron? But yeah, what I... Is he cooking? Yeah, I was pretty sure I remember hearing something like that where it's like, uh, if if someone loses like the, the primaries, <coughs> they can't can't run again or something like that. So remember that's what people were saying about um, Hillary. No, because like if they lose the primary, the bruh, listen, I'm gonna be a hundred with you. Bernie ran both primaries in his life, both of, uh, and he dropped uh, Bernie. Bernie Bernie dropped off both or er, dropped out both times. That he didn't win. Yeah, Bernie dropped out both times. Fair enough. I'm just listen. I'm. So Watch I... Larry the newsman call Bernie Sanders. Comment what you think down below. Man, gosh. <laughs> God, I fucking. That is probably my fourth favorite Conjun House episode, and I think it's great that many of my favorite Conjun House episodes all come from the last season. That's crazy. A fucking the uh... <laughs> by using these blueprints, we'll finally be able to activate the mega volcano. <laughs> no. The mega volcano. <laughs> Man. <laughs> and he just goes on a diatribe where he doesn't know who Gay Spaghetti Chef is. Man, it's like you're damn right. I hate it. You know what? I'm gonna do some mega volcano research right now. Damn, <laughs> that's a really unfortunate set of goes, circumstances. Goes to a volcano, and... throws the mega stone in the volcano. Dude, the volcano camera. gets larger. Mega camera is really wild today, huh? <laughs> God, can we get much higher? Why is that song attached to... I don't know. I have no clue. I think it just be the person thought it would sound good. Well, uh, it sounds... Uh, it okay, sounds smart right. guy. Let's see you take a crack at it. Zanzeroka. Dude, fucking Far Slash, Beta Blade. What, what is that? Oh, yeah, that, that's fucking... Dude, 
Holy shit. Uh, we need to go back. I need to go back to Exerd. Chip has a a different Rekka follow-up in that game. You can do the, the Sushi Sukiyaki Banzai, or you can do Dust follow-up, where he does this giant fucking spin kick and goes over the guy, and it can't be punished. And it beats like every move. <laughs> Why do bonsai? There's no reason to do bonsai. Fair enough. Bonsai is not a move. Oh god, Aaron. Aaron, yeah. Aaron, I need to tell you about some sin I created. Um What's so <laughs> Well, okay, I went back into the um into the um the character design document. Um, and I looked down at, at the little man's move set, and I was like, "Ugh, this is disgusting. I need to redo all of this because now I have more of an understanding of how fighting game characters work and how to balance them. I need to make this way more broken. What the fuck was I thinking? I didn't give him a command grab off fusion. Am I stupid? What shit was past me smoking? Um, but." The crux of the video game is air combo, where every character is going to be having, like, uh, a good way to get a, a decent air combo going, because okay. grounded combos scale super quickly. Like, they, like, on your third hit, you're doing no damage on the ground. Um, but in the air, damage scales in reverse. So you do more damage per hit in the air, um, but your opponent gets burst way quicker in the air. Um, I see. and then, yeah, and then, like, in the corner as well, like, you get, well, I mean, in the corner, there is no corner. The stage loops like Pac-Man, so theoretically, you can do an air combo that just carries in a circle. Um, just but, don't drop. Yeah, but I thought about it, and I was like, man, there's not a single fighting game I've seen that has actually made taunting an integral mechanic to the game. So, yeah. aside from being able to taunt and get um, your your install if both players mutually taunt at the beginning of the round. Um, e taunting gives the characters like stupid buffs. Like the three that I have is that the Johnny of the game gets a level up, which is insane just for free. It's just free level up. Um, the our, our deuterogonist gets unblockables and the chip-esque stupid nonsense teleport air combo cross-up bullshit idiot character gets another jump for every taunt <laughs> so if you do three taunts and don't get hit you get six jumps and all of them can jump cancel so you can reset your moves in the air <laughs> sounds like i, I want to create sin I want to create the fighting game ever. Where you can pick any character and be like, this is stupid. That's awesome. It's when, like if, When DNF everyone's broken, awful. nobody will be. Yeah, it's was, like DNF, but not awful. I was going to say, speaking of taunting, damn, as it turns out, Mega Volcano's got hands. Yeah, sounds about right. Could have told you that for free. Well, I mean, yeah, but... Fucking, I'm, I'm not accepting your free courtesy. Skill issue. True. Hey, y'all y'all want to hear about a great... Oh, no, Aaron, you were there when we were watching the skill issue video, right? Uh, which one? There are a lot of skill issue videos. The, the 14 video last night. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, fucking... So, the boss may have been too hard because the devs beat it super easy and they were like, this is okay. All of you guys may or may not be good enough to beat it. <laughs> Literally skill issue. Yeah. Issue. Yeah, man. Oh man, crazy. You, you know, you know the only person ever who gets to say skill issue, <laughs> fucking fighting game devs. Absolutely. Yeah, just load the batch up, forehead. God, I, um... Okay, but, okay, but what about Mennonite? Huh? 
But what about Meta Knight? What so Meta Knight? Skill. No, skill what the fuck? Did... Yeah, Meta Knight is 100% a skill issue. Oh, Susie? Like, bro, listen. <laughs> listen. All I'm saying is that, it's like, dude, they just forgot to make... <laughs> Just like Bedman is a Guilty Gear Strive character in Exert, Meta Knight is a melee character in Brawl. The thing about about um, when I said that um, Bedman is an Exert character, that was derogatory. By the way, I just like <laughs> is a Strive character. That was derogatory, um, because characters in Strive have much much smaller move sets than in previous games. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, Bedman's move set is tiny. Yeah. Like it's so small, and a lot of his move. Well, there are some moves he has that are straight useless. The f the sheep, the sheep is useless. Like everyone loves to talk about how oh my god the Lord Sheep OMG hell yeah, but it's like it, it it's like saying how cool Raditz is. Like yeah, I get it. I I, I get I get it. I've heard this joke before. Um. And his reversal, his reversal's okay. It's 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 pretty good. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's 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 good. It's a reversal super. So uh, yeah, um, but his central mechanic is too strong. It's way too strong for them to have given him any more moves. He's way too good. So when they bring a uh, bed in for strive, um, I'm suspecting either a it's going to be the best character in the entire game. And like Happy Chaos is gonna be shitting his pants, <laughs> or like he should, like he should, um, or they're gonna be have an insane, be the same, like have an insane gimmick, but not have it be capitalized enough for that top tier spot. Because if it there's like a there's a tiny threshold there, like where, okay, I like to think there's a gap between this character is too good and you know this character is utilized is um created well to utilize their mechanics and then this character isn't and then there's the they're too good at it um so bedman in exert is like almost good enough almost but he's he doesn't have enough to really do and to, to, to do not do the same few mix-ups with his uh, nonsense, unless you're Majin Obama, and then you just create new moves because you're weird. Um, but I I hope they give Bedman new moves. I hope they give Bedman new moves so bad. I want Bedman to be the best character in Strive. Oh, oh. Oh, have they oh. actually have they actually confirmed Bedman coming in or? Well, the second storyline is about the bed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Listen. Listen. So they, they, it's, as far as I'm aware, they have a model that, in the game's engine. It's confirmed at this point. Well, okay. Because here's the okay. thing. We're here's getting... The there, there's, there's one problem, though. We have three more slots for this season. And our available characters who have not who were in the story who have not shown up yet in the game are what is it it's obviously sin um delilah and the bed we can count those as one character um who else hasn't shown up yet people are saying vernon's gonna be in the game i don't see it gabriel i i think he deserves a spot at this point it's been too long and gabriel's been in too many games for him to not be playable do my man justice please i i want to but we've got but but then you have to think about the no my no buys of the series slayer and johnny and then you have to think about who is the joke character of this game because we don't have one right now we don't we don't have a joke character yet are you sure? Are you sure? I mean, Chip Faust is doesn't there. Count. Faust does not count anymore. Faust is no longer a joke. I mean joke by aesthetic. Like Leopoldin, the freaking no, giant don't. shark that's being controlled by a little dog. But the little dog is actually being controlled by a wizard with a bongo drum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really I don't... The fucking save the Donkey Konga mix up. Yeah, yeah, no, but people want Jam, no. people want Elfelt, people want Slayer, Johnny, fucking 
people want Raven back, and I'm like, what are you talking about? You want to be Raven fair, back? To be fair, the terror that was unleashed when Test of It was announced. Mm hmm. The terror that's still going on with Bridget. Well, I. Okay. That's, that's a different. different kind of terror. Yeah. I am always going to be holding out hope for Robokai. True. I'm gonna hold out hope for Robokai till the end of the night. What if they just throw Robokai at what the if... end of it? Like, what it's if, like, if they do me... the three no. characters and then they just throw him in, just randomly. What if, and hear me out, they do the Ice Climbers thing, put both Robome and Robokai in the game? I... what? Hmm. I'm trying to think about, like, how Robo... We can't have Robo Man in the game. <laughs> no. Nope. I I am saying we can't. Personally. I I am personally declaring that if we get Robo Man in this game, it is solved. Oh. Because Robo Kai's gimmick is that he can just create bar whenever he wants. <laughs> he 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 has a different meter than everyone else. And he uh, instead of having a sweep. He puts up a little map that he stands on, and then his meter just goes up. Oh, okay. So, like, is it just, like, the Hakuman thing, where, like, the meter just goes up, like, instead of whenever he does anything, it just goes up over time? He... No, you have to up it yourself manually, and then oh, you have okay. to take care of your heat as well by doing 6H. Um, but... Dude... I, uh, Susie, did I show you the Robokai combo recently? The one where I was like, there's no way this kills. I'll fucking, I'll piss my pants if this kills, and then it killed. Uh, probably not. Okay, well, I'll show you that later. It's so funny. Uh, but anyway. One moment. Anyways, Euros are pretty good, actually. What? Euros are actually pretty good. I'm so glad I'm have I'm so glad I'm having authentic Greek Euros. That's crazy. That is it would be so crazy. Yes. Gotta fill out before you go tackle Mount Olympus. <laughs> oh you mean the Parthenon? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I already went there. This is many... my victory beat. <laughs> Damn, what are we, what are we your victory lap? <laughs> so you're already in Greece. Yeah. Okay. I I tweeted about it yesterday. You I been. don't follow it. Friendly reminder, I don't follow any of you guys on Twitter. Well, that just sounds like a skill issue. Honestly, based. I see the two, the two genders. This <laughs> based and skill issue. You're telling me you don't want your entire Twitter feed to be nothing but Bakugan, Bakugan, and third thing? Bro, listen, I follow your Twitter account. It's just blue. I'm sorry. I'm just. Okay, listen. I'm listening. There's only like ten colors. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> it's only like ten colors. Sarah does twenty twenty two. I mean, yeah. I love that. That's good. I'm listening, Sarah. What do you just expect me to go on a Twitter and be like, ah, yes, the color red? Do it. I dare you. Fine. Fucking do it right now. <laughs> like if I gotta deal with the Pepe Sylvia, like... that... it's like if I gotta deal with the Pepe Sylvia about whether or not. I'm lesbian. You're gonna have to deal with the, the fucking uh, blue bit. 
Okay, no, the Pepe Sylvia is funny. Hey guys, can someone- Pepe Sylvia is, uh, is very funny. <laughs> so can I someone flip Susie saying I'm lesbian? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, you just want them to do it out of context. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it's... I, we love revisionist history. Anyways, there's the tweet. Oh, of course. <laughs> we love revisionist history. There's the tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. God, Sarah, pick Ooh. your words. <laughs> Careful. I'll have you know I'm excellent at picking words. No, you are not. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. That was an amazing choice of words. It was incredible. Because what else is Twitter other than revisionist history? I'm gonna... Hold on. Dude, oh my There's god. There's a difference between revisionist history and whatever Elon Musk is doing. Dude, what is he cooking? Uh, the destruction Nothing good. Com. Well, actually, no. I should rephrase that, because if he was to cookie the discretion of Twitter.com, that would be a net positive for society. <laughs> oh my god. He's trying- <laughs> what, he's, what, he's try what he's trying to do is is save it. He's literally bartering with, like, people who want to keep their check marks to fucking- to, to lower the price. Instead of just make- listen, I'm- there's one- there's one take. Verify everybody. <laughs> For free. But then if everyone's verified, nobody is. No, that's the point. There's... The point is, if you're going to, like, if you're going to be, like, free, this is the free speech town hall, then say anything you're about to say with your full funny chest. Well, I mean... Yes. It's more like, because verification was created with the intent to, like, prevent, this way uh, from, yeah, prevent misinformation and, like, well, impersonation. Was... Yeah, yeah. Which is why I should totally be verified on Twitter, but, uh, now if it yeah. costs money, no, no thank you. Yeah, like... Fucking good. Okay, hear me out for a moment. This might sound crazy, but no, you need to listen to me on this one. There, no. there's a, there might be a strat here. Hear me out. What if we paid for verification with Elon Musk's money? Okay, well, we'll just need to find it. That can be yeah. arranged. I'm sorry. Uh, Did you say Elon Musk's money? You mean our, mean our money? money? <laughs> yeah. You mean straight up? 110% our money. Yeah. See, you just guys like... saying, you guys saying Elon's money more like our money, the immediate thing that just came into my mind was da 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 <laughs> Good. <laughs> like, I know what you're talking about, but like, the fucking Soviet thing just going through my mind immediately after you guys saying that. It happens. <laughs> this... <laughs> uh, That's a good bit. <laughs> it's nothing less than what he oh. deserves. <laughs> <laughs> Susie, did you watch that? Okay, first of all, did I send you that TikTok that was um, a dude talking about why, uh, how Soga King and Usopp are not, or why, why Soga King will not just go into the straw hat? It it took a it, it took a bit, but yeah, I did eventually see it. I yeah. looked at I looked I, at TikTok literally like yesterday. I, I want I want to see it. Oh, well, I'll have to fucking dig and find it. But right now I'm going to school, nice. and then I go into work for eight hours. Yo, speaking of that, I found this one tweet, and dude, he's just like me for real. <laughs> Is it is it Denji? Is this gonna be a picture of Denji? No, it's just retail workers listening to Mariah Carey's "All I Want for Christmas Christmas Is You" for the one thousand six hundred forty fifth time. It's just the clip of Azula. Yeah, I, how, I agree. I, I love how that Dude. one song just ended all Christmas carols forever. No one has ever I'm bothered a... trying to do yeah, that. Yeah, no, fucking. Um, yeah, no. Why do you think Canadians started celebrating Thanksgiving in October? It was because we knew this would happen. 
You know, here's the you know what the funniest thing is? There's only one other recent Christmas song that I know of that was released in the past ten years, and it's because it's so bad that it might as well be commentary material. Oh, you mean the fucking COVID uh Christmas song? Yeah, the basically The anti masker one? Yeah. The what? Oh, you don't yeah. know? <laughs> there was an anti masker Christmas song released during twenty twenty. Oh, I didn't oh. see that. Awesome. I... Oh, I well, I have an excuse. And you were gonna tell me when? Uh, I thought you already knew. No! Because yeah, uh, yeah, we... You have, you have, we you I have better been... things to do with my life than to listen to Christmas had... carols unironically. We, we, we talked don't... about it We talked about it in the Cloud Palace when it, around the time that it came out. It was like a whole bit. Yeah, we... That's it's like, crazy. Yeah, man. It was wild. Anyway, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll say this much: if I if I did talk about, it, I don't remember talking about it. Anyway, the unenlightened masses—they cannot make the judgment call. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm a hot off. We're gonna, or at least we're gonna stop the stream at the very least. Um. So later, guys. <laughs>